So let's check. Uh, look at the Nifty first. Okay. So <coughs> after making an all-time high, after making an all-time high. Just a second. Uh, you know, it did some retracement due to monthly expiry, and you know, it's now holding in this zone basically. So, now the next level we need to monitor is this uh, 12100 car level, and below that, there is a small portion of gap left out here. That small portion of gap uh, uh, we will be looking at if this uh, 100 uh, level cross. Okay, so as we know, the Nifty uh, normally for trading options we should track Nifty futures car chart. So, this is your futures car chart. <coughs> so, now here we can see the same thing, but one thing we can augment out here is this particular candle. Uh, we had a gap down and then price moved down to test this particular level which is the congestion zone or you can say the previous high car level and after that you know the this was the expiry day <coughs> and then on the next expiry there was a huge premium instability was there which got adjusted today itself like some some bit of it is getting adjusted so today was the major portion was adjusted today so now if you see we are actually trading in this particular range so hopefully tomorrow will be we, we may see some action i am expecting a test on the upside first and then uh, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm basically bullish on the uh, indices uh, for tomorrow. For uh, Bank Nifty spot chart, actually uh, nowadays Bank Nifty spot chart, uh, you know, uh, or even futures chart, uh, it looks pretty uh, understandable compared to the Nifty chart. So here we are forming this uh, kind of structure. And we are very close to that band. Okay, and uh, in my experience, normally this band breaks on the downside. Not, I'm not saying it will. It will happen tomorrow. It may or may not happen tomorrow. But uh, uh, you know, there is a ch high chances that uh, this will uh, break on the downside. So. So here uh, what we will be monitoring for tomorrow is this low. So this low is of 26th uh, December ka low that was your expiry low. Uh, we will be monitoring that. Also if you see on the intraday charts. <coughs> Uh, this was the 26th come move that was expiry and this is the op uh, like you know the opening first candle low or a day low for 27th and now we are exactly taking support at these levels only okay so let's see uh, what uh, a, what goes on because there is this uh, small portion of gap is also left to fill and uh, this particular low will also act as a support but i don't think tomorrow itself we may go and touch if we don't open gap down so i'll be looking at uh, this particular zone for tomorrow and once it breaks down and comes back up that will be my buy entry and above break off above this will be my buy entry of course, I'll be looking at the sustenance and then move up. So whole VWAP uh, play will be uh, taken by me tomorrow.
also notice this was the day low previous day low or uh, swing low intraday swing low this level if we mark this level the price was actually trading in between these two zones since it was the first january no big uh, institutions were there you know being an ho international holiday and all stuff most of the world markets are also closed today so let's see how it pans out for tomorrow so you 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 must monitor this particular uh, zone in bank nifty tomorrow that's your futures chart future chart is almost uh, same as that of uh, spot chart but uh, this uh, ratio like uh, the price is trading in this channel very nicely and now we are at the bottom of the channel and for futures this level is pretty important for me that is uh, 30 to 150 i don't want price to you know even go below that and uh, like i don't want the price to go below that because it is because uh, this high is there and uh, let's see what happens tomorrow i'll be monitoring this 30 to 500 and that uh, rectangle uh, this rectangle particularly okay so now this becomes your four day low and gap support even though we you know just went below that level for uh, a bit but uh, we not we do not have any five minute close below that okay and plus this was a perfect example of spring volume is quite higher than the previous bar and uh, after that price bounced and there are uh, so many you know test bars are there which was drifting the price up Generally, in such kind of market, your uh, natural uh, movement of the price should be on the downside. Still, on the low volumes, we were drifting up. <coughs> so, let's see how things pan out tomorrow. Uh, these are my levels which I'll be watching. This one box is there which I'll be watching. Okay and uh, this trend line is coming on from this particular uh, two days ka high I connected and I got a trend line in the morning I got a good trade out of it it was actually uh, uh, SBS setup uh, we will discuss this setup in the coming days but uh, yeah it was multi confirmation uh, like multiple confirmation were there and all stuff so uh, it was pretty good uh, today in bank nifty <coughs> so at the bottom this low from that day uh, the opening price the day low of 27th i think 32 to 46 also you can take this zone there are these two bands from 32,325 to 32,360 ka zone. This zone for today was rejection zone. And uh, once the price crossed below, we also got a rejected. Actually, I was expecting like this move. A bounce from this rejection zone. But now, as you know, uh, by the look of it, we crossed. Price got rejected but could not get a proper follow through and it got stuck in a channel. Right. So now again tomorrow if we you know cross this I am again looking for this kind of rejections in this zone particularly. And now also we have a very uh, you know narrow range within the zone to monitor for tomorrow around this height. So that's your bank nifty. I'll be more focused. I'll be you know more focused on bank nifty for tomorrow uh, instead of uh, nifty. <coughs> and uh, these are the stocks which we will be talking about for uh, which we'll be tracking for the next week. I uh, hope uh, you have uh, you know you had some good trades in the last uh, weekly thing, uh, weekly uh, this because. Uh, yeah most of them were either sideways or uh, some of them gave you a nice trade so if you missed 
this is the uh, this week we can try again so this is adani ports actually uh, there is something going on in adani port if you see this kind of thing is basically breaking out okay for me this is not a trend line because it does not satisfy my uh, trend line ka rules what i am looking at is this uh like from this to this channel area okay earlier it got rejected uh, pretty early and now today we have this kind of move when uh, like you know no much activity was going on and suddenly this particular stock has this kind of move so a position may come in coming days maybe or if you know we get a breakout don't buy this breakout let the price sustain this and then buy that thing because you can see here you have this cluster so this may act as a rejection zone for this price so better to wait you know if it breaks out better to wait for the buy but if it gets rejected from this area you can go for sell uh like maybe 2 3 if it goes for sell you will get uh, good uh, trades for 2 3 days that's ex uh, bank adani ports axis bank i was bullish last week but eventually turned down uh now basically we are following this uh, kind of uh, trend line Uh, i'm not very confident on this trend line but uh, let's see how it pans out okay so it's like it is almost at the trend line you can say so if you know it start bouncing up in the early trades you can look for uh, taking a trade here and also it is getting rejected from the highs with certain volume which is not that high not too low it's an average volume so basically the swing traders might be poking their profits because the price is not going you know breaking this level after this such strong uh, bullish uh, bullish candle it is not breaking this level so maybe because of that they might be booking their profits and all so eventually price will go out that's what i am expecting if it breaks down then you can target 61% of this uh, uh, particular move and it may form a channel something like this so i am basically having a yeah, last week also i had bullish bias and this week also i am having a bullish bias <coughs> then bajaj auto uh as expected it came down but it came down pretty sharply so now we are in an important zone which is coming from like you know it's a weekly level if we see on the weekly charts you can see that's your weekly swing level so you know whenever prices moves out does a pull back and then goes up this level after breaking out will act as a support so earlier it was resistance now it is acting as a support same kind of thing is visible here see this this was the swing and then you know eventually move on took support and now again on that support okay for some people it may look like a small m kind of pattern and they may go for short trade but uh, there is uh, no actual divergence is forming here there is no divergence at all so i am hoping a you know sustain and then bounce or uh, immediate rejection tomorrow itself but uh, i'm not sure whether the some news is uh, there or not so better to wait out and uh, see how the price behaves also if you check uh, this dynamic trend line 
okay also if you check this dynamic trend line it has also crossed this this is the dynamic trend line for uh, bajaj auto and it has actually broken the trend line so this thing you know uh, earlier also it has happened like that and then sita raman aunty came and the uh, announcement did that announcement day so uh, i am expecting this uh, the price should hold this level and move back into the range so let's see how it pans out now actually um, i don't follow bajaj finsurf but uh, you uh, you might know that bajaj finsurf and bajaj finance both you know move in tandem with each other there is not much a difference in the price movement on intraday basis i'm talking about so this bajaj pin surf is moving in this channel on the higher time frame on the higher time frame it is moving in this channel and it is now near the supply line okay so some supply is expected to come and maybe because of that this volume dried up okay so it may spend uh, some time or maybe some months before you know uh, going down uh, breaking down similarly if you observe bajaj finance bajaj finance is also moving in some sort of channel but here it is you know holding this level couple of times this was the first time it you know swung around this supply line long term line then broke down side and again bounce back now the move is pretty grinding okay so this you know this behavior uh, you know uh, forced me to think in the wyckoff cycle terms even even though it does not look like a wyckoff cycle but uh, still yeah i am thinking in those lines so let me draw the base for you something like this maybe this was your buying climax price moving up then normally we have some sort of you know automatic rally and we spring so if i say that this is my automatic rally then that spring and that's your uh, phase a ends there in phase b you have this uh, sort of you know test of the spring behavior and then price swings in between okay this is your according to that is up thrust but now in phase c we should come and uh, uh, there are two possibilities we hold here or we do a spring a rejection below this zone and bounce back up okay so out of these two we are actually spending some time and holding this level so this becomes your last point of demand in that situation okay on the major time frame on the higher time frame this will be your last point of demand that's why i have this blue line over there and now this is your you know uh, start of phase d maybe maybe so what i am saying is this is your accumulation cycle and we are into and reaccumulation phase okay but since there are some ambiguity on the initial phases if it does not hold then your phase c will not hold here but instead as soon as price starts coming down this is the point where your phase c hold now it will form a structure and then it will go for the markdown phase to touch this line by the time your uh, this uh, you know this line will touch this lpod in future so all in all what i am thinking is it's a uh, like because of this kind of price action i'm not getting a clear picture whether it's a accumulation accumulation or it's a distribution also i have a channel line over here a supply line over here so that's why i am tracking it what i'm expecting is come down hold and then start moving down and enter into a markdown phase for now i am holding this if it breaks out yeah i'll be looking for a buy obviously because you can see this m structure and this car target will be like this much and all you can do your calculations and find out the let's let's find out for you 
that's your high that's your m cup the center part and uh, you take this okay that's your bottom you take this you keep it here and in future that will be your target which is very close to our uh, last lpo cutting higher time frame lpo cutting so that is also very much possible so let's see how things pan out in this but yeah keep these two things in mind if this is the accumulation my price again form an lpot something like this and then start some markup phase that is also possible even if i say that's my lpot my start you know price may take this as a markup phase this is also possible that could be your you know phase c and up thrust and price come down and then so based on there are four probabilities based on that one will pan out if you are you know early to catch that thing uh, you will get your uh, good profits the next stock is britannia again trading in a range so let's see uh, how things pan out on weekly it looks like a uh, last point of demand on uh, phase uh, c on the wyckoff cycles so yeah this wyckoff i'm i'm pretty sure this is an accumulation and this looks like a last point of you know the same thing which i was discussing the bajaj finance price was here it may come down it may hold and then if it rises mark up it downs that's your markdown and based on the breakout of this zone you will come to know that whether it was a reaccumulation or uh, it was a distribution that sense okay so just you know this small range will give you a better idea which side the price is going on and uh, it is like almost almost two months it is spending time in this three percent cup box i think yeah four percent cup box it is spending almost two and half months so some activity is expected uh, so let's see that's your plus it's in uh, like expecting a rejection and test of this zone in coming week so target is not much it's how one and 1.5 percent to two percent and then maybe a rejection or sideways move but uh, that's what i'm expecting in cla icica buy is very interesting after this channel breakout due to uh, some news or something it covered almost 4x cut targets of this channel normally after breaking out price covers 1x or max to max 2x very rarely price go for 3x and 4x cut targets okay and as soon as it touch the 4x cut target it is now you know trading in a range <coughs> with extremely low volumes so if they say this is the case we have this trend line expected uh, i'll not say this as a trend line in other words i'll say this as a pos line okay and if this pos line gets broken out we may come back at least to test this zone because this support i don't think it uh, it will hold if it holds well and good then we may get a retest of pos line and then downward or uh, directly downward like that i am expecting right now definitely after this much run off it has to cool down it has already you know did the time correction now during price correction the move will be very sharp so that's icici bank indescent bank again it has you know broke this uh, channel did first test and now did second test okay and now it is coming down that's your pos line this is your pos line if it breaks the pos line the test of this breakout is uh, very much possible okay it's almost 5 to 6% ka thing is very much possible also 
simultaneously you have to keep track of this level of 1464 because it is uh, like from the weekly charts you can say it's this holding level which you know price was hovering around that level finally broke retested so earlier it was support it was not giving direction to the price then acted as resistance broke and now may act as support very much possible but if does not provide support this uh, 1465 does not provide support then test of this low is very much likely I am not looking at the bullish side uh, in this particular uh, stock. Infi trying to break out of the range if you can see this was the high it was maintaining and today it is trying to break out but the volumes are extremely low. So let's see if it breaks out because it is the result season starting up. So high chances that uh, some accumulation might be happening and now it is trying to break out mm, Kotak <coughs> Kotak was trading in this range broke out and then form an another range in the target of this range now it broke out and did its first target and it's a retracement okay and uh, here this is a trend line that yellow line is also a trend line and that pink line is also your trend line from higher time frames so if currently i cannot say whether it will go up or it will go down so i'm just you know i am on wait and watch ka kind of uh, situation in this particular stock what i am expecting is or like if if in case it breaks this trend line then that is my possible target test of this okay in between there is uh, nothing uh, particular you know uh, strong support level is there so if it breaks it may come down to this level but if it holds the trend line then new highs are on the cards because it's like it is moving out of, out of too long. This was multi-month accumulation. This was two and a half months ka accumulation. Yeah, we can say this is an accumulation because price broke out finally. Okay. And uh, there is one more scenario which I am keeping eye on. But I don't think it will pan out. But yeah, there is one more scenario. This was the range in which it was trading down so after breakout maybe it is coming for a test and then bounce so uh, some sort of you know fake move is very much possible after breaking the trend line and then again entering back something like this is very much possible okay so let's see which things are go uh, you know plays out i'll only you know start monitoring kotak only uh, once uh, it closes it gives a daily close below this trend line till then it's on the watch only then last one is uh, Tata Steel's uh, yeah <clears throat> this is pretty interesting you know this was a cycle it has moved out of accumulation cycle this was the last point of demand you can see over here and now it is moving up and it was moving uh, like this is your phase b and phase b onwards it is moving in this channel if you can see clearly okay and uh, that's your weekly trend line from the you know, very long term trend lines like for coming from january 2018 that trend line which is obviously got broken which is obviously got broken here okay so now the thing is this is your supply line of your channel if i do these extensions so that was the move and this is your extension which is also coinciding with 161 car target okay and uh, 
breakout of long term trend line happened so a test and then bounce is very much likely or at least that's what i am expecting so uh, basically i am expecting the test of this uh, level somewhere here by that like it it should approach this something like this on this particular day around like from two weeks from now okay so it's a good move if uh, you can catch it so that's what i'm expecting supply to come for the test of breakout and then bounce up again and test this uh, lpos of the uh, previous downtrend now it has changed the trend this was the bottom forming and now it is moved up so we are in a you can say officially after this breakout if this green box holds then we are officially in an uptrend like this was first move breakout of this come back test and then new highs so that this particular test will confirm the uptrend has started in this stock so yeah for uh, next 5 days 5 trading days you can expect a downside move a fake move on the upside is also may happen but uh, i'll suggest you know if that something like strong move happens in tata still on the upside look opportunities to sell at the highs uh vipro okay this was the point like uh, uh, you can say that uh, you know point rejected came down form a reaccumulation phase and broke out and now it is moving down tested that reaccumulation phase again after an year and it is still trading in that particular uh, phase okay so this is the context so expecting a range here like that low and that high is uh, what expected maybe you know by the look of it it looks like a redistribution but uh, let's see how uh, it works out uh, i have selected this stock because in this range if this is a redistribution then the phase c up thrust is possible okay so that's your up move and that's your 50% retracement so if it starts trading above this then we will know that uh, yeah this was a test the important point which i'll be looking at is this high sorry not this high this high once this high is taken out then only i'll be expecting the continuation in the trend on the upside and test of this level is very much likely this level or you can say that uh, 258 260 ka zone this particular zone the test of that is very much possible but i want my price I want my price to close above the high of 30th December ka candle. In market profile terms, you can then you can say that the one time framing is officially stopped. So, yeah, that's uh, this thing. Okay. Then uh, Z, uh, yes, bank. Uh, yeah, uh, this uh, thing. The move down with increasing volume, then move up with the decreasing volume. So this indicates your bearish volume. Okay. Then 
when this down move continues your volume should be you know increasing like sh should be like this that was expected but instead we got the range of the bars going down along with volume going down okay so volume spread ratio or volume spread relation is still maintained i'm not saying that it's possibly a formation of bullish structure no because your ranges are also decreasing and volume is also decreasing so from that you can say the volume spread ratio is maintained okay so what i am looking at this support level 42.5 or uh, 45.2 45.2 this uh, particular zone I got from some calculations oh yeah you can say that there is support it's nearby that's your some support okay so yeah so once 42.5 gets taken out uh, then uh, expect more uh, lower prices in this stock okay and also if i say this and this i'm not sure like i can say it as a trend line or uh, not but uh, by the rules it is definitely not a trend line but uh, that's why i'm confusing like the way it has you know fallen and took support and then again continuing it indicates this line is acting as a trend line the behavior is of it, of this line looks like a trend line okay but uh, since it does not obey my rules so i'm a bit, a bit confused so i'm taking it as a pos line nothing else i can do with it so here if this level holds and price starts bouncing up expect new highs uh, to come in this stock okay also there was some thing uh, let me check once yeah see this was your 2x target of this uh, consolidation and the price almost hit that target okay so now something is going on here let's see how things pan out this level will be pretty much uh, important for you uh, yes bank 42.45.2 uh, and lastly zeal After hitting this target, it is continuously going down and now started holding into this range. Uh, this range I am talking about. Okay, which is if you see, uh, like this was the move, and that's your 31 38% retracement, and the price started moving down. Okay, and also we have this uh, short term trend line. On the charts so if it breaks out then your possible targets are in these zones so first is uh, your 60 somewhere around 68 69 ka zone next one is your uh, one 259.5 and third one is your 235 and no I don't think itna fall aega because if that comes then we will test basically the low of this range so let's see how things pan out it will not happen in next week but in coming weeks uh, it will uh, you know in near future uh, we'll see how it pans out there is this possibility as well that price breaks down does a spring and go for the new high that is also very much possible because we have a strength a pullback and the continuation and if you see after this range, that pullback, the holding is somewhere around 61.8%. So that is also possible that we come test this and move up. Okay, 
so in both scenarios uh, just you know keep this one in track on watch list let the close happen below this line and once the low of that close breaks then enter for your trade it's a bit late but uh, better to be on the safe side in this stock because this stock was already coming in a downtrend okay Achha, i forgot uh, this uh, one more thing if you see on the this uh, weekly structure we are in a channel and the price is near the channel uh, supply line of channel so some supply is expected to come so let's see how this uh, pans out some supply is expected to come that's why i have this uh, levels uh, found based on the calculations so that's it from my side if you have any queries to ask uh, you can uh, type it in chat uh, oro pharma uh, let me load the data for today first just give me couple of seconds Just let me load the data, it's almost done. Uh, Sushil Kumar ji, I have seen most of them. Uh, Adani Enterprises, Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Finance, dono dekh liya. Sipla to hamara long term ke liye hai. Sipla and Sun Pharma for long term accumulation. Uh, and five days reducing volume because the last five days were holidays. It's Christmas week and uh, New Year week. So, because of that volume, you should not consider those reducing volume. Uh, it will, yeah, you will see them everywhere. Uh, so, yeah. From Monday onwards, we will see the actual picture, uh, uh, what is going on in the markets and how the things are panning out. Okay. So, let's check Oro first. Yeah, it has broken down this uh, big range. Do not expect a much uh, bigger moves. This big red bar you can see here. This definitely may be due to some news or something. But actually, if you see this long term chart, this was the range is it, which it was holding and that range got broken up. Okay, so that is the reason uh, for that huge uh, bar. And after that, after that fall, it bounced. Okay, after that fall, it bounced little bit. Then again news and again trying to enter in that particular area. So I'm not sure like this was see I have this and this like this was the move. There's the retracement and my target was this 50% and niche 61 ka bhi hoga. Yeah 43% uh, 343 points. So it did come and made the low of uh, 
almost touched the low and again went back but still it is not able to reach this 486.7 so unless and until it does not touch 486.7 i'll you know not look for uh, i'll not look at this stock only not for buy not for sell so that's auto okay we well, i'll quickly check uh, this uh, this many stocks channel line ke channel mein hai and it is almost near the demand line also uh, i don't have the dynamic trend line is ka uh, also it has touched this uh, target level of uh, that um, this uh, just wait it was in this trading range okay and it did touch so i have taken the last rally first pull back and that was the thing i was expecting ke kahan se pull back leta hai which tells me how strong the trend is and it actually end up here okay so currently if you are holding this stock keep your stop loss somewhere here below the low of this because this is the start of the channel if channel breaks it may try to go back in okay i know stop loss is bit wide if you are on this if you want to be on the safe side you can keep your stop loss here as well and uh, you know if price comes near to this level and trying to bounce that time you can again enter okay the important zone for this one is uh, this zone a uh, previous level is also coming out, out as you can see and uh, this is your lpod last point of demand was here because of this one red bar and some dry volumes okay but let's see i'm i'm not expecting it to fall so easily to let's see kya hota hai by the way by the look of it it does look like a cycle buying climax automatic rally ek din mein there that's your phase begins of phase b phase c b ka up thrust down and yahan pe supposedly you know yahan pe holding hota hai aur ek spring banta hai to waisa kuch nahi ho raha it is holding on the higher levels of this trading range so that was the reason i was you know more Uh, like this is the safe SL. If you have long from these levels, so itna risk lena banta hai. Otherwise, keep your SL here, and ye uh, zone me mile to fir se reaccumulate. That's your 10 point gains on directly. Okay, short term trader ho to this doji ke niche should be your stop loss. Uh, Adani, Bajaj. अच्छा यू जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो रिवर्सल पॉसिबिलिटी या रिवर्सल पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर बिकॉज इट इज नियर दिमांड लाइन ऑफ द चैनल बजाज फिन देख लिया बी पी सी एल नो नथिंग कुछ नहीं करना है जब तक ये दिस रेंज गॉट रिजोल्व इन एनी डायरेक्शन हमको दो डेली क्लोजिंग चाहिए उसके बाद ही बीपीसीएल देखेंगे कैस्ट्रॉल Yeah, it is almost hitting the targets. Yeah, it is almost hitting the target and sustaining below the target. So here range ko resolve hone do. Most likely it will break on the upside because of this. Exactly wahi zone me aake ruka hua hai. So most likely it will break on the upside. फिलहाल वॉल्यूम्स नहीं है तो हम एनालिसिस करके कोई सेंस नहीं बनेगा बट या इसमें भी रिवर्सल एक्सपेक्टेड एंड इफ इट ब्रेक्स ऑन द डाउन साइड सी जब भी रेंज बनता है ना रेंज को हमेशा प्ले करने का ऊपर ब्रेक किया तो बाई करो नीचे ब्रेक किया तो सेल करो और ये रेंज तो थोड़ा स्पेशल रेंज भी है बिकॉज यू हैव अनदर पैरल रेंज बिहाइंड इट अरे स्टॉक खराब है इसमें कुछ नहीं बचा है इसको ट्रेंड चेंज करने को बहुत साल लग जाएंगे
एनीवेज ये स्टॉक मेरे ट्रैक पे नहीं है तो आई कैन नॉट सी मच ऑन दिस ठीक सा गया या करंटली होल्डिंग दिस लाइन इसका मैं बार बार बाय करके आपको ग्रुप पे भेजता हूं दिस लुक्स गुड टू मी इसका एक बार 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 बाय करके आई विल सेंड इट टू यू ऑन द ग्रुप इंडिगो इतने सारे मत दिया करो यार दो तीन ठीक है बाकी सब ग्रुप में पूछ लिया करो चैनल में है Uh, अपने यू नो सप्लाई लाइन के पास है सो एंड दिस बिग रेड बार इज देयर बेरिश वॉल्यूम विथ हाई वॉल्यूम ये पीछे भी हाईएस्ट था आगे भी हाईएस्ट है सो so, इसका लो दैट्स वाई बिकम इम्पॉर्टेंट तो ये लो को मॉनिटर करना है एंड uh, ये एक रिजेक्शन का अटेम्प्ट था विच गॉट फेल्ड टेरिबली तो ये लेवल भी इंपॉर्टेंट है सो दिस टू लेवल्स यू नीड टू मॉनिटर फॉर इंडिगो इंडिगो एनआईआईटी तक इसमें रिवर्सल नहीं आना चाहिए बिकॉज ये ये रन में है इसको फेड मत करना इनफैक्ट ये ऊपर के साइड पे ब्रेक होता है तो बाय अगर सपोज यहां से यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ समथिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ ट्रेंड लाइन ऑन आर्ली टाइम फ्रेम ओके और अगर वो ब्रेक होता है तो यहां पे आप एसएल रख के इसको बाय करो इसको फेड मत करना ये स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्रेंड में है स्टॉक इसमें क्यों रिवर्सल ढूंढ रहे हो सारे या डमी चैनल के पास में जा रहा है दैट्स योर डमी चैनल का लाइन दिस इज योर डिमांड लाइन प्राइस डिमांड लाइन के ऊपर चला गया एंड इट इज नाउ अप्रोचिंग डमी चैनल ये इवेंचुअली ब्रेक डाउन करेगा अभी थोड़ा वेट करो इसमें इनफैक्ट यू कैन गो ऑन आर्ली और ऐसा कुछ एक ट्रेंड लाइन या पीओएस लाइन बना के रखो एंड उसके ब्रेक के ऊपर आप सोचो क्या करना है तो इंट्राडे में इतना मॉनिटर करना टफ हो जाता है बेसिकली सो बेटर है ऐसे स्टॉक्स पर इसमें रिवर्सल पॉसिबल है ऐसा रेस में नॉट शॉर्ट बट पॉसिबल है टाटा एलेक्सी अभी कुछ नहीं बोल सकते इसको थोड़ा वेट करो ये कुछ ज्यादा ही शार्प मूव है थोड़ा वेट करो इसमें या yeah, इसमें डेफिनेटली वेट करो थोड़ा बिकॉज इसका लॉन्ग टर्म ट्रेंड लाइन जो है ये 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 वाला फॉलो कर रहा है वो इट इज नियर दैट सो अगर इसको रिस्पेक्ट किया तो ब्रेक डाउन इज वेरी मच ऑन द कार्ड्स बट इसने सारे फेबोनाचिस को निपटा के ऊपर निकल गया है तो इट इज गोइंग टू टेस्ट दैट हाई तो बेटर वेट करो ऑल्सो देर इज दिस इसको वॉच पे रखो वेट करो सर ये ट्रेंड लाइन को ब्रेक तो नहीं किया उसने एंड उसके बदले इट एस फॉर्म पेस ये क्लस्टर बना रहा है स्क्वीज हो रहा है स्क्वीज होके कहीं ना कहीं ब्रेक करेगा इधर ऊपर ब्रेक करेगा या नीचे ब्रेक करेगा वो साइड पे आप ट्रेड ले लेना और अपोजिट साइड का स्टॉप लॉस लगा देना तो टाइक जिस तरह पीएसयू बैंक्स के बारे में चर्चा चल रहा है इट शुड ब्रेक ऑन द अपसाइड बिकॉज ऑफ न्यूज यूनियन बैंक यूपीएस बैंक तो देख लिया हमने सो दिस इज लास्ट फॉर यू हाँ नहीं अभी इसमें नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कुछ इट्स मूविंग वेरी वेरी रैंडम अभी सी क्या हुआ है दैट्स योर स्ट्रॉन्ग वॉल्यूम बुलिश बार उसके बाद एक टेस्ट बार किया टेस्ट बार करने के बाद नो फॉलो थ्रू और ना ही वो ये बार का लो लेके अभी तक नीचे गया है ना ही इसका हाई तोड़ के ऊपर निकला है 
ओके okay, अभी इसने लास्ट दो दिन में ऊपर जाने का ट्राई किया है बट एक्टिविटी के वजह से इस पर हम कन्फर्मली कन्फर्मली नहीं बोल सकते हैं कि वेदर इट विल गो अप या ये एक फेक मूव है और वापस आएगा ऑल्सो देयर इज दिस लाइन कमिंग फ्रॉम जून 2019 दिस इज अ वैलिड ट्रेंड लाइन और ट्रेंड uh, लाइन पे एक बार रिजेक्शन दे के दूसरी बार वहीं इसके आसपास ही होल्ड कर रहा है बट यू नो ट्रेंड लाइन के ऊपर क्लोज देने के बाद भी इट इज मेकिंग लोअर हाइस सो थोड़ा इसमें वेट करो इसमें अभी कुछ नहीं बोला जा सकता टफ है इसमें कुछ भी अभी कंक्लूड करना बिकॉज एक्टिविटी नहीं है तो कैन यू सी टेक कैम टेक कैम एक लेवल के पास में होल्ड कर रहे हैं एंड दिस इज इस डायनेमिक ट्रेंड लाइन वो डायनेमिक ट्रेंड लाइन के पास में भी है क्लियरली पूरा साइडवेज पड़ा हुआ है बेटर टू वेट फॉर मेरे को इसको कैलकुलेशन करना पड़ेगा कि वेदर दिस डमी चैनल इज वैलिड और नॉट बट बाई द लुक ऑफ इट अगर मैं अज्यूम करूँ कि डमी लाइन वैलिड है तो ये वहीं पे खड़ा हुआ है एग्जैक्टली exactly. जो चैनल में चल रहा था वही चैनल के डमी लाइन पे है अगर इसको रिस्पेक्ट कर दिया तो फिर वो वापस ये जो चैनल है इसके अंदर वापस एंटर करने का पोटेंशियल रखता है विच इज वेरी गुड बोले सी अभी अभी थोड़ा वेट करो इसमें देखो क्या हो रहा है पिक्चर क्लियर होने दो बिकॉज सेम चीज फिर से ये जो हाई वॉल्यूम रिजेक्शन है ऊपर से इन सम सेलर्स आर सिटिंग देर यहाँ पे रिजेक्शन है ये रिजेक्शन है तो सम सेलर्स आर सिटिंग देर बट द काइंड ऑफ फॉलो थ्रू इट गॉड आफ्टर दैट ये थोड़ा सा डाउट प्रोड्यूस कर रहा है कि क्या वो सेलर सच में सेलर है उसमें दम है ओके एंड सेकेंडली this was you know trading in this sort of tight range i would say inclined range ye channel hai ki nahi check karna padega but yeah tight range bol sakte hai and ye yahan pe breakout hua aur wo breakout level ko test karne aaya hai aisa bhi possibility hai to ye dono side ka sequence rakhta hai isko thoda picture clear hone do then only you will get an idea ki actually kya ho raha hai आईटी सेक्टर में कुछ न्यूज भी था लास्ट दो दिन से इंडेक्स भी डाउन है आज तो आईटी सेक्टर अपने लो के पास क्लोज हुआ है। आईटी नहीं आज कोई तो एक सेक्टर अपने लो के पास आईटी आईटी था या मीडिया लो के पास क्लोज हुआ है। आईटी नहीं सॉरी ओके टेकम हो गया या करे क्लास थ्री कोर्स नो चेरिंग यस सी पी एस सी इसमें क्या ट्रेड करोगे चैनल ब्रेकडाउन है सॉरी नॉट चैनल ये ट्रेंड लाइन ब्रेकडाउन है ट्रेंड लाइन ब्रेकडाउन रिटेस्ट नीचे रिटेस्ट नीचे तो बेरिश बायस लेके कुछ इस टाइप का एक ट्रेंड लाइन छोटा सा पीओएस बना के रखो जैसे इसके नीचे ब्रेक करे टेक योर ट्रेक यहाँ बट रिमेम्बर है यहाँ पे कुछ बाइंग एक्टिविटी हुआ है यहाँ पे कुछ ये ये कैंडल पे कुछ बाइंग एक्टिविटी हुआ है और इसके हाई के ऊपर काफी टाइम सस्टेन कर रहा है सो देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी के वो वापस एक बार ऊपर जा सकते हैं तो अगर मुझे ट्रेड करना है तो डेफिनेटली मैं इसको बेरी साइड लेके ही सोच के बैठूंगा अगर ऊपर जाता है तो आई नॉट सिंपली ट्रेड इतने सारे स्टॉक से फिर कोई ना कोई मिल जाता हाउ टू चूज स्टॉक इंट्रा डे निरंजन जी बैंक निफ्टी का व्यू हो चुका है दिस वीडियो विल बी अपलोडेड ऑन द यूट्यूब थोड़ा देख लेंगे What is the best time frame to draw FIBO for next two three days? Wait. 
नो फिगो का ड्रॉ करने का मेरा रूल इज अ बिट डिफरेंट तो आई आई विल टेक सेशन ऑन दैट इन कमिंग डेज आई विल टेक सेशन ऑन दैट yeah that's it so it's almost 1 hour and 7 minutes so maybe 1 hour jaisa ho gaya hai so uh, just uh, giving you 1 minute guys uh, kuch questions hai to puch lo otherwise we will call it a day and we'll meet on uh, next uh, wednesday live session uh, that time i'll be having some announcements for you regarding some webinars as usual sare webinars hamesha ki tarah hamare free honge so don't worry हाँ अच्छा एक क्वेश्चन मेरे से छूट गया हाउ टू चूज स्टॉक फॉर इंट्राडे सी बेसिकली मुझे नहीं पता लोग कैसे करते हैं मेरे दिन के लाइक आई हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ लिस्ट जैसे यहाँ पे ये वाला जो लिस्ट आपको दिख रहा है यहाँ पे दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ लिस्ट ऐसा मेरे पास कुछ लिस्ट बना होता है ना एम कीप मूविंग रिमूविंग एडिंग वो बैलेंस करते रहता हूँ मैं थ्रू आउट द वीक एंड आई बिल्ड माई दिस स्टॉक लिस्ट ऑन वेनसडेज Somehow मुझे Wednesday पसंद है तो मैं बिफोर टूमोरो एक्सपायरी में इसको लेता हूँ अगर थर्सडे छुट्टी है वेनसडे को एक्सपायरी है तो आई टेक ऑन ट्यूजडे एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे मेरा यही लिस्ट पे भी आई हैव अटन यू नो थॉट प्रोसेस ऑन दिस ओनली पर्टिकुलरली दिस स्टॉक और इसमें से कुछ ना कुछ कोई ना कोई स्टॉक यू नो कुछ ना कुछ मोमेंट हर रोज करेगा तो आई की वॉचिंग दिस स्टॉक्स ओनली और वेन एवर आई सी समथिंग इज हैपनिंग सम स्ट्रक्चर इज बिल्डिंग अप या समथिंग इज हैपनिंग ऑन इंट्रा डे टाइम फ्रेम्स तो आई विल सिलेक्ट दैट स्टॉक फॉर ट्रेडिंग नेक्स्ट डे मैं तो ऐसे सिलेक्ट करता हूं बाकी Like while discussing, I might have mentioned a couple of stocks from this uh, list to be, you know, uh, ready for trade tomorrow. I'll be looking at Axis. My primary focus will be on Axis for tomorrow. Or uh, Bajaj Auto pe bhi ek thoda sa dhyan rahega. Though it's not in my list for tomorrow, but dhyan rahega. Uh, this. कौन सा था? Yeah. ICICI को भी आई बी लुकिंग बिकॉज इट्स वेरी नियर टू दिस पीओ एस लाइन सो बाउंस और रिजेक्शन लाइक ब्रेक डाउन या फिर बाउंस दोनों पॉसिबिलिटीज है तो आई बी वॉचिंग दैट एंड इंट्राडे चार्ट पे सिग्नल मिला फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन टेन मिनट्स में जब भी सिग्नल मिला आई यू नो टेक स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप माई ट्रेड्स and uh, uh, this uh, tata steel i'll be looking for tomorrow because uh, if you see on this intraday chart uh ye ek range hai this is 15 minutes chart and uh, ye just a second ye yahan pe it was a resistance now acting as a support and upar se bhi ek isko range mil gaya hai so it is in this range so yesterday today's high low today's high low. so that's how uh, i'll take the trade no not based on volumes what i saw while selecting this stocks i have shared in this video only volume indicators mere bas ka nahi hai like basically indicators mere bas ka nahi hai aur volumes कभी होता है कभी नहीं होता वेन यू सी और प्राइस एक्शन तो पता चल जाता है दिस लुक्स लाइक अ ब्रेकआउट बट बाय द रूल्स ऑफ ब्रेकआउट ये ब्रेकआउट एक्चुअली नहीं है ब्रेकआउट के लिए रूल क्या होता है वेन एवर समथिंग ब्रेक्स आउट आपका जो भी सपोर्ट या रेजिस्टेंस है वो उसके ऊपर हाफ ऑफ द कैंडल शुड बी देयर एंड क्लोज शुड बी अब दैट यहाँ पे कहा ब्रेकआउट हाँ इफ आई कंसिडर दैट ट्रेन लाइन 
इस तरह का तो यू कैन से या ये ऑलमोस्ट 50 परसेंट के आसपास से जा रहा है तो या वी कैन कंसिडर इट एज अ ब्रेकआउट बट मेरे लिए ये ट्रेंड लाइन ही